Hey guys, Infidel1258. In this one, I want to do a kind of a little bit different. There's a clip from the town hall where Aggie's going to share kind of his passion around with Splinterlands and what he sees as the revolutionary kind of secret sauce of the game. And I think it's actually really telling because it shows us what the developers' hearts are like and what they're aiming at and how they not just this isn't just a game. This is actually a vision for transforming economics and i love what he says in here so i want to listen to this like one and a half minute clip from Aggie talking about how he sees the impact of what he's doing in splinterlands and then i just want to comment on this phrase that he uses which is spawn point equality i love it let's listen to the clip and let's get into it you know uh i like if you hear all that passion and excitement i feel all of those things um and then you know i i have uh, I just have an infinite amount of work to do. Uh, so sometimes yes. that is a little daunting, not daunting, but just daunting. Um, and it, or maybe it is kind of daunting. I just have to daunting myself everywhere. I have to be in every meeting in all the places doing all the things. And, uh, you know, nobody should feel bad for me. I'm not, you know, it, 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 this is what I signed up for. And it is extraordinary. It could be exhausting. Um, but this is what I love, man, this community, this project, these pieces in the, um, and the sort of hope that I, 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 that I think we're working towards of like, you know, this isn't just a game. If you think it's just a game, you're missing the point. This, this whole thing is designed to build a, a stage in a, in an arena where, where it doesn't matter what part of the world you're from. Uh, I actually, the, I call it spawn point equality. And so, you know, if you think about this world as sort of like, you know, let's say you got fragged in your last life and then you just got spawned into this world and you could be anywhere, anywhere on the planet to any parent anywhere. Um, and the challenge to me is that from one, one side of the world to the other side, depending on where you're born and who you're born to, that like just that one thing, who your birth parents are is like so so indicative of what your fate will be and I, I would like a world where it doesn't matter who your parents are that you have this like massive opportunity no matter where no matter what if it, all you need is like a chip in a chair all you need is an internet connection and splinterlands and you can personally make your own fortune and and drive your own destiny and so i just I think that's really amazing. First of all, that Aggie is here week after week, and he's one of the main people for this game. And we get this transparency. You hear me talk about that on the channel. There's transparency. The people who are running the show are constantly available, accessible, and revealing what they're aiming at and why they're even targeting that so that we can then critique and challenge. And we do, we constantly give criticism and feedback, sometimes positive, sometimes negative, um, sometimes fair, sometimes unfair. And Aggie stands there through it all. So does Matt really, but Aggie being the front person, I think it's so important that we hear that kind of sentiment and heart around what the game it means to them, to him specifically. And, you know, he talks, he opened that conversation saying how really overwhelmed and stretched he feels but yet it's so worth it because he sees uh he, he's holding excitement and passion he's got hope for what this could do it and he said quote this isn't just a game if you think this is a game you're missing the point if you think it's just a game you're missing the point and i love that and it's so true and you've heard me talk about the idea that i really think this game has the potential to retire people who are playing it there's this is a passive this is a money generating tool because for the first time in gaming history, you're earning resources and assets that are yours to keep, not just while the server says so, but forever once achieved, once earned, they're yours. They're on your, they're on the blockchain under your account. And so long as you hold your keys, you hold those assets and those assets, not only can they be played uh, for daily or season related profits, which in and of itself is amazing, but they can actually actually unlocked daily rewards, whether it's like through renting out those assets, if you don't want to play them anymore, or eventually price appreciation because certain cards are more desirable. And you know, the whole economy of supply and demand, and there's these cards are deflationary in nature. You've heard me talk about this. And, and then you hear one of the founders and one of the main voices in the space share that and kind of point at where 
reiterate the direction that they're growing it, going and growing it's not just splinterlands for its own sake it's like it's not just an nft blockchain based video game where we have monsters auto brawling one another it's something so much bigger and that's that spawn point equality is such a cool phrase and it it points back to what he's it i think it really shows his consistency too like aggie has always talked about how this game and his goals through blockchain are really to spread peace prosperity and there's one more phrase in there i forget what it is if you guys know t tell me because i always forget it but peace and prosperity through like economic decentralization the idea that there are not certain key stakeholders that are going to shut you off and close you out but that through I, the anonymity and the um trustless nature of blockchain you can step into an economy like splendorlands and start earning for your time and attention in a way that it transcends borders you don't need to be kind of one of the special insiders that gets you know first kick at the can you literally just have to have interest time and attention and once you commit that like you start earning whether it's pennies a day or dollars a day it really doesn't matter because those things are going to accrue and accumulate and snowball into something really meaningful and that's why he talks about how spawn point equality and whether you're born in zimbabwe or toronto or washington or wherever you are at it's like you can you could play this game for 10 us dollars and earn revenue and that is trivial in nature but over a long time horizon due to how it both accumulates and then appreciates wow tr life changing potential and so as we've said before if the game is fun and if you believe it has a future then i think what he's saying has real merit and i and when we when we analyze that question of whether it has a future it's so important to listen to the key voices that are driving the project such as aggie so that we can understand the heart behind and the direction behind and the aim behind the team and i think one it's um it's really admirable two it's actually being executed upon and three it's this is unique and so i'm super excited i love that he said that spawn point equality that's so amazing and as more and more people recognize the opportunity there that phrase becomes more and more true right now blockchain is kind of a western world thing primarily speaking but internet's available everywhere and as this sort of technology is recognized it throughout southeast asia throughout africa throughout india i think we get we, we open doors to a population who one dollar a day would transform their economic lives forget about their four-year future like i often talk about but their literal daily lives and that's the spawn point of quality he's talking about it's so cool to have a be backing a project that's aiming in that direction and i hope you guys share my excitement hey guys i'm going to leave it there thank you so much for your time and attention have an amazing day god bless